How to Prune a Cacao Tree Cacao pruning is the set of cuts that are made to the tree at important moments of its life cycle in a technical and controlled manner to regulate its size, shape, and yield. This practice favors the growth, vigor, and production of the tree and reduces pests and diseases. Next, we'll learn about two types of pruning. Formative pruning for growing plants and maintenance pruning for trees in production. For formative pruning, the type of plant must be considered whether it is from seed or grafted. In seed plants, the trunk grows vertically between 80 centimeters and 1 meter and stops its growth to a form of horquette. From the horquette, three to five main branches that are born will form the crown. Formative pruning in these plants will guide the growth of lateral branches and their height. In grafted plants, no horquette is formed. The branches grow laterally and therefore need more pruning to form the crown. In this case, two models can be noted. Form a tree with more than four main branches that were born near the ground, or a tree that has only three or four main branches that are born about half a meter from the ground. To start forming a grafted plant, when the plant is approximately one meter tall, cut off the main branch. This stimulates the development of lateral branches. After four to six months, there will be lateral branches at the base of the plant and it will be the right time to do the formative pruning. Choose the branches that will be the main ones that will form the crown and eliminate the others. Then every four or six months, prune the lateral branches to form the crown. When the trees are more than four years old, maintenance pruning is already necessary. This is done after the main harvest and before the rains, ideally accompanied by fertilization and a gentle pruning is repeated after six months. Maintenance pruning is based on six criteria, which apply to both grafted and seed trees. One, if the crown of the tree is too low, cut or tip the branches that are closer to the ground. Two, if the crown is very high, cut the branches that are over three meters high. Three, when the crown is very open, tip the lateral and internal branches, and when they sprout, keep those that cover the empty spaces of the crown. Four, if the crown is very closed, thin out branches, cutting those that intertwine. Five, if the branches intertwine with those of the neighboring tree, cut the intertwining side branches, delimiting the space of each. Six, if the crown is unbalanced, tip branches that go to one side only and grow branches in the other direction to achieve balance. Finally, Pay attention to these recommendations. To apply the pruning, use pruning shears and a curved pruning saw. Make clean and flush cuts. Avoid leaving stumps and disinfect the tool to prevent the multiplication of diseases. Practicing pruning correctly in your cacao farm will give you good results. Chocolate for All Project financed by the Inter-American Development Bank and executed by Heifer International Project and Cotier in their field actions.